Meet Arnold. And it looks like he's hungry. Arnie, did you waste all your money on the online farm again? Okay, fine. Now you're gonna have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? O-M-G! Arnold! What in tarnation did you make? Roasted piglet! Chocolate caramel cake! That's not what I meant! It's not just about not eating fast food, buddy. It's about any kind of high-calorie food, and you're overeating. Ooh, Arnold, looks like someone had some fun last night. And something tells me your brain is probably just as much of a mess as this room. You really don't remember anything at all. Arnold, could it really be? Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend? Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm. Now, where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression. And you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you calling an ambulance? Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. 
cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up. Get up, doofwad. Bad weather doesn't justify taking a day off. What, you don't want to go to work? Then I suggest you work in bed. When NASA was studying how zero gravity impacts a person, they paid $18,000 to a volunteer to lie in a bed for 70 days. Just don't even think about getting up, Arnie. I hired a sniper who will terminate you at your very first try. You will eat, drink, and do everything else while lying down. See ya, buddy! Hey, did you get any sleep? How are you doing? I guess not so cool. It looks like you're gaining weight. All the energy that comes from the food you eat isn't going anywhere. But bed sores, that's bad. Due to high blood pressure, blood stops flowing to the skin. Hold on, old sport. Good news, Arnold. You're close to the record set by Soviet scientists. 370 days in bed. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Every day, you're losing 5% of your muscle mass. On top of that, your bones are also damaged. And due to your lack of mobility, your bones don't repair and they quickly start deteriorating. And paradoxically, falling asleep lying down becomes impossible. Without a shift in activity, the brain doesn't know what time of day it is or when it's time to sleep. But this does have its perks. You can watch all your favorite shows over and over again. I'll leave you here now. Enjoy the show, Arnold. Oh my god, Arnold! What did you do to yourself? I wasn't serious about the sniper. It's really not good to lie down so much. Hey? You sell your bath. Why? What? Is it all about the new PS5? You know, Arnie, one Dr. James Hamlin has shown it's possible not to wash for over five years. Let's do a challenge. The surface of our skin is home to a huge number of bacteria that form what's called the microbiome. It's understood that if you avoid using soap over an extended period of time, your microbiome balance will naturally stabilize. However, if you don't wash for even three days, you'll start to itch. Don't worry. Go get some air. Clearly, after a few days without a shower, you've started to stink something awful. Okay, not such a bad idea to buy a bunch of deodorant. The global trend of using fragrances to mask the body's smell first appeared in medieval Europe. At that time, people bathed on average only two times in their entire life, at birth and at death. Yes, the evil odor is gone, but frequent use of deodorants can cause allergies and shortness of breath, and the aluminum salts they use can even lead to the growth of cancer cells. Even in our time in our modern world, there are still people who wash themselves very rarely. In addition to the homeless, there are the residents of the far north, the Eskimos and the Chukchi. Are you feeling like a pile of garbage, Arnold? Permanent non-washing can lead you to a loss of self-esteem. And the kids next door would paint your house with graffiti and tease you about your stankiness. Where are you going, Arnold? Oh, I really hope you don't do anything stupid. What happened? Did you just get fired from McDonald's? Don't worry. Every person is talented at something. For example, heard of a guy from China who got into the Guinness Book of Records because he didn't blink for 57 minutes. Hey, where did you go? Arnold! What? You broke the record? How? 
You glued your eyelids! Oh my god, it's really dangerous! Blinking is necessary to lubricate your eyes with moisture. Our lacrimal glands contain antibodies, lysozymes, and electrolytes. Without them, your eyes will become defenseless. So, I'm afraid you won't be able to admire your literacy for long. The smallest particles in the air will begin to settle on the eyes and scratch them. In addition, the longer you don't blink, the more you want to. Arnold, there is one secret. Blinking has another function. It shares the information you receive and renews your attention. This means that the more interesting stuff you see is, the less you want to blink. Try to distract yourself with something calming. Yes, I think a good old black and white movie will do. There are three types of tears, reflex, emotional, and basal. Because your eyes are dry, the tear glands are trying to make up for the lack of moisture. But the movie isn't bad either. Oh no. Who knew the film would have a nuclear explosion in it? Arnold, how do you feel? Bright light hurts you. Your vision gets worse. These are signs of conjunctivitis. It needs to be treated properly. It sure won't go away by itself. Be careful when reading the drug instructions, Arnold. With vision of plus five, it's very difficult to read up close. But with myopia at negative five, you'll have problems with viewing objects in the distance. Ladies, stop it! He didn't see anything! Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! Looks like you got beat up by the pharmacy security and you lost all your belongings. I wouldn't stay in such unsanitary conditions for long. Don't have the strength to go. Eerie similarity to the symptoms of adenoviral conjunctivitis. This happens when the retina is torn and the virus penetrates through it. Arnold, get up! You'll develop abscesses and retinal detachment, and you can go blind forever. You see these halos of light around? Thank God, it looks like someone called the ambulance. What's wrong again? Arnold, these are not ghosts, they're doctors. Stop, you can't hide in this cornfield. After all, it's drawn. Are you taking an IQ test? Don't be so tense. You could burst the last remaining piece of your brain. Oh, you got upset and want to show that your intelligence is much higher. You're just fooling yourself. Although, I have an idea. The brain works much better when it receives a lot of nutrients. This can be achieved through more rapid circulation of the blood. A shot of adrenaline will increase your heart rate to 220 beats per minute. And a 40th cup of coffee will provide all 350. Let's see if we've nourished your brain enough. Well... But what if we make your heart contract at a speed of 300,000 times per second? Blood will run through your veins 20 times faster than the speed of sound. Obviously, all your veins and blood vessels will burst instantly, and your heart won't even be able to contract a second time. So, we'll do an upgrade. We'll replace your heart with a motor and we'll make your blood more viscous. Now, this is a whole different story. In this form, you are a Superman. All processes of the body are accelerated thousands of times. It will be the most productive time of your life. With such a brain, you could create a company more successful than Google or refine Einstein's theory of gravity, advancing humanity hundreds of years ahead. But because of your accelerated metabolism, you'll have to spend all your time on the toilet. But don't worry, it won't last for long. Your body can only withstand a maximum of two hours of such stress and strain, and then BAM! You need immediate hospitalization. You're not gonna make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. 
So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball! Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile! Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like cola's not an option. A contract? Have you already been cast in something? Take your time, Arnold, and read through that carefully before signing. I'm thinking you could make some money renting out that big, empty space between your ears. What do you think, Arnold? That space inside your big red head is so empty, I think we could store my grampy's old motorcycle in there. Arnold, for this role, it looks like you're gonna have to triple your weight. Actors, in order to get as close to a role as possible, often have to gain or lose weight in a very short period of time. Christian Bale, from 2008 to 2013, had to lose weight nine times and also had to gain as much as 30 kilograms. That's 66 pounds. To quickly make progress gaining weight, use a bigger plate. That way, big portions will look smaller. <gasps> Add in lots of snacks, Arnold, like dried fruits, nuts, and peanut butter sandwiches. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star. So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? Too bad, Arnie. Looks like all your effort was in vain. And your pay ain't even enough to get you home. So you decided to go on foot, did you, Arnold? Hey, Arnold, are you okay? Due to all the extra weight, your bones are under enormous stress. We need to calculate your body mass index. At 60 inches and 206 pounds, your BMI is higher than 40, and that's class 3 obesity, buddy. You need some serious help. Here, call this number. My friends are gonna take you to a special place. Here, in just a few minutes, all the excess fat is gonna be pumped out of you. Yeah. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, no. Meh, the saggy skin will help remind you not to make stupid choices in the future. And as for all your pumped out fat, on the black market, some cosmetics companies are willing to pay up to $15,000 for just 2.2 pounds of the stuff. So, Arnold, go on back home. I will now stop your heart for one nanosecond. Calm down, chucklehead. This is all for the sake of science. The heart is a pump that makes blood move all around the body at a speed of about 25 miles or 40 kilometers per hour. The path which the blood travels through is more than 100,000 kilometers long. And if all these vessels were laid out in a single line, they would wrap around the globe twice. <laughs> Three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Arnold, did you pee your pants? It takes 0.4 seconds for the heart to contract, 
and the same to rest. If you add up all the pauses in an average person's life, it turns out that the heart is resting for more than 20 years. Therefore, no one will notice a little pause for just a single nanosecond. But I already figured out how to fix it. Look closely. The heart resembles a two-story house. There are two rooms at the top, called the right and left atria, and below, the ventricles. In its normal mode, the blood from the atrium is pushed into the ventricle with such pressure that the blood could hypothetically shoot out for more than 9 meters, or almost 30 feet. Then the ventricle pushes blood into the lungs, or the aorta, and life goes on as usual. But if the ventricle stops for at least 0.7 seconds, when all the other parts of the heart are still working, then boom! The amount of blood going through doubles, and it's torn to shreds. <laughs> Hey, I see the late night beer bash is a big success. But don't forget, in the morning, you got a conference of below 60 IQ YouTubers. And if you're late, your career is toast. There's no time for the toilet. You gotta hold it, buddy. The bladder comfortably holds 150 to 200 milliliters of fluid. But after 400 to 500 milliliters, you'll feel some pressure. You must have drunk a lot. Eee, looks like the boss is in a bad mood. And for sure, he ain't gonna let anyone take bathroom breaks. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you got to hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. Hooray! Break time! You're saved! The average person goes tinkle six to eight times a day. Ooh, no luck there, Arnold. In ancient times, rules of decency allowed people to go wee-wee in public, and the division of toilets into men's and ladies only occurred in 1792. Okay, break's over, buddy. Now it's your turn to give your presentation. If you hold it in for a long time, the bladder walls can stretch, so you can hold even more PP. But this can be dangerous. Bacteria and acids in your urine can crawl back up into your kidneys, causing cystitis and pyelonephritis. It seems, Arnold, that everyone approves of your dissatisfaction with company policy. Come on, Arnold. I know you can hold it a little longer. Just 50 more talks and then you're free. Well, that's it. Time to go home. And Arnold, I advise you not to make any sudden movements. If your bladder is that full, it could pop. Yay! You're almost home! Now we just have to get through the morning rush hour. Move slowly. Oh no! It seems your neighbor's coming, Arnold. You know, the guy who likes to give everyone a big hug when they meet. Those are some beautiful, large vegetables. Hey, stop eating in the store. Those vegetables are GMO, genetically modified organisms. This tomato contains a silkworm gene. And your normal, everyday cucumber has a 40% similarity to a human from a genetic standpoint. But don't be afraid. GMO isn't scary. And I know just how to prove it to you. Let's genetically modify you, Arnold. It's illegal to do such experiments on human beings. But in 2018, two genetically modified babies were born in China. They were programmed to have immunity to HIV. Now, we're in the Pentagon's tippity top secret laboratory. They mainly produce GMO soldiers. CRISPR-Cas9 is a new technology that allows the DNA of one organism to be implanted into the DNA of another. A regular fish was implanted with genes from a bioluminescent jellyfish. Now it's a glowfish. Vegetables are modified for longer storage and better taste. But what about you, Arnold? Do you want to be taller? We can use the Michael Jordan gene. and. We'll remove the sweating gene from you, so you stop stinking so much. And meet Arnold 2.0.
A new <laughs> life has begun. Without sweat, people will finally sit next to you on the bus. And your neighbor's grandma will stop calling you a short little redheaded virgin. Now she'll just call you a redheaded virgin. Yes, genetic engineering isn't perfect yet, but it is the future. Designer GMO babies are coming soon. And it'll be possible to remove the cruelty gene from criminals. It's a new stage of evolution. Sweet dreams, Arnold 2.0. Hey. What's going on? Arnold, did you steal all the syringes from the lab? What, you want to inject yourself with the strawberry gene to smell good? And a corgi gene for a perfect butt? Don't do this, Arnold. Stop! Oh, ye gods, what have we done? I was wrong. Genetic engineering is dangerous. Not only for the organism, but for the whole city as well. Did you actually lose your job as a pizza delivery guy? Now, just imagine if you had two heads. You'd be way more popular. Your life would be much more interesting. You'd be smarter. And you could finally learn how to ride a bike normally. Look, this is the same guy from the sign. The circus ringmaster. Oh my god. Did that lion actually just swallow the whole two-headed dude? No, actually, it seems the heads are unharmed. But what's going to happen now? Is the big show of the season canceled? Hey, it seems the manager has noticed you and wants you to be in the cast. But only if you agree to have these two good-as-new heads sewn onto your body. Isn't that what you've always dreamed of? Well, since you agree, I think you should find out more about the upcoming surgery. The first successful head transplantation was done by Charles Guthrie in 1908. He did it on dogs, though. One of the heads was sewn to the neck of a dog's body upside down. In the 1950s, Demikhov achieved full functioning of a second head. He transplanted 20 heads together with the front half of the dogs. Then the head of one dog was transplanted onto the body of another. And then there was a monkey, which, after transplantation, even tried to bite one of the doctors. In 2013, Sergio Canavero announced plans for a human head transplant. The estimated cost was $12.8 million. In 2017, under his leadership, a dead human head was transplanted onto a corpse. Actually, it suits you, Arnold. Now it's time to rehearse your part. I hope you don't screw up and disgrace mm. these beautiful heads. <gasps> You're gonna have to juggle as you ride your unicycle on a springboard through burning hoops. Yay! They don't seem to like you being so stupid, Arnie. Try not to interfere with the professionals managing your body. All that's required of you is to not spoil the performance. The grand premiere. All eyes are fixed on you, Arnold. Today, you are the main part of the show. Fingers crossed, buddy. You're doing great. Just a little more and... Is that Tagaya over there? Did she come to see you? No, no, don't get distracted. Not now, Arnold. What a doofwad. By trying to be a gentleman, you disgraced yourself and the Truel brothers. That was the greatest failure this circus has ever seen. He was banned by Lolita97 after he fell head over heels and started to fill her page with love comments. And you've recovered well by soothing your grief with ice cream. I'm sure we can use this for today's topic. Let's see how much weight you can gain. Put simply, to gain extra pounds, you must constantly increase the number of calories you eat. With your weight and lazy lifestyle, it will be enough for you to eat six Snicker bars a day to start gaining excess weight. When you reach 300 kilograms, the Snickers allotment should be 14 bars a day. And when you reach 2,000 kilograms, you'll have to eat.
eat, eat, and eat again until you eat 17,000 calories of food a day. No one has ever reached such a mass. 2,000 kilograms would simply destroy your body. Fat would compress your organs and veins. You would begin to suffocate. Your strongest bones, which are four times stronger than concrete, would break if you tried to stand on your feet. At this way, you can live for just a few seconds until the fat completely strangles you. So let's suck out a little bit. It seems you're going to need to borrow a bra from your mom. The more fat in a person's body, the more intensively female hormones are produced. Your breasts grow enlarged, your voice becomes thin, and your little friend no longer rises in the morning to salute the new day. Hmm, that's a twist. Looks like Lolita97 has a very jealous husband. Don't go leaning out and trying to lose weight. There's enough fat in your body to sit in a closet without food for three years. You just need to inject some vitamins and drink water. Ah, never mind.